constant innovation, unparalleled education, groundbreaking global business education you'll find only at Oxford College of Business. That's because all we do, all we are, is business education. The Parliament passed the England Revenue Act No. 10 of 2006. It included tax exemptions for farmers, labourers, exporters and many more. We had to implement a concessionary tax policy which is more beneficial for the public, which will increase the production of the country along with revenue and employment. The government says tax revenue went down to 11 to 12 percent as a result of it. By granting various tax concessions to agricultural and industrial sectors, small and medium scale entrepreneurs got a boost. The highest growth in Sri Lanka was maintained during that period, so the gross domestic product was increased. Tax concessions given by former Finance Minister Mahindra Rajapaksha was reduced to two pages with the arrival of former Minister Ravi Karunanayake. Significant amount of cuts are made to tax concessions and there is no mention of tax concessions in the new Act. They are attempting to erase the tax concessions granted by former President Mahindra Rajapaksha from the memory of the public. <laughs>